Hey YouTube, this is Midwest Comics and Pops. This is a brand new channel on YouTube. I'm going to be talking about comics I own, pops I own, everything I'm hunting for, purchases, as well as weekly polls, and anything else comes up that's related to comics or pops or anything fun. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And today we're going to be talking about the top 10 slab books that I own. Number 10 is Amazing Spider-Man number 1 from 2018. This is the current run by Nick Spencer, cover and art by Ryan Otley. I had this one signed by Nick Spencer down at Kansas City Comic Con this year in 2019. And this is my first ever book I had signed by a writer. Next is Captain America number 25 from 2014. This is the Adam Hughes 1 in 25 variant, story by Rick Remender. This is a CBCS graded 9.8. This is the first appearance of Sam Wilson as Captain America. After Avengers Endgame, I just had to have it. Number 8, we have Harley Quinn number 1 from 2016 of the DC Rebirth. This was signed by Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor down at Kansas City Comic Con this year, so I had it verified by CBCS at a 9.6. Number seven is Amazing Spider-Man number 361, first appearance of Carnage. This was 1992, David Michelini writer and Mark Bagley cover, and I cannot get enough of Carnage. This next one really doesn't fit the mold, but for number six, I've got Middle West number one, a signed by Scotty Young, artist and writer. This is a 9.8 from CBCS. This is the one in 20 retailer incentive. I really have high hopes for the story. It's a fantastic read. If you're not reading it, I highly suggest you pick up the trades. It is gonna be a great big story once it finally gets picked up. Number five, I have Flash 139 from 1963. This is the first appearance and origin of Reverse Flash, aka Professor Zoom. This is one of my all-time favorite villains, and I love the Flash show on WB, and this is one of my favorite books in my collection. Number four, I have Ultimate Fallout number four. This is Brian Michael Bendis writer, Mark Bagley is the cover. The origin and first appearance of Miles Morales as Spider-Man. This is CBCS graded 9.8. I got this off eBay and took the chance trying to chase the 9.8 and got real lucky. And after the Spider-Man PS4 video game, I can't wait for more Miles Morales. Number three, I've got Edge of Spider-Verse number two. This is graded 9.8 by CBCS. This is another eBay pickup to where I was chasing the 9.8 and got real lucky. This is the origin and first appearance of Gwen Stacy as Spider-Woman from Earth-65. I've got two daughters and I love Spider-Man, so I'm hoping they gravitate towards Spider-Woman here. Number two, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 50 by the man Stan Lee. This is graded a 3.5 from CBCS. This is the origin and first appearance of Wilson Fisk, AKA the Kingpin. He is by far my favorite villain of all time and I just can't get enough of them. This next book took me years to finally get. I had to wait for a movie to come out and then cool off and hopefully no more rumors yet and things are still up in the air, but I finally have this one. I picked it up down at Kansas City Comic Con this year. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 300. First appearance of Venom. It is a 9.2 graded by CBCS. It's what I could afford and the higher grades are just crazy expensive and it took quite a while to get this. As you know, I am late to the game in collecting comics, so I didn't have this one in my collection. From 1988, this is the number one book I own. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this list, I plan on making more. And this is Midwest Comics and Pops. If you like the video, like, subscribe, tell everyone about it, and you'll see more videos in the future. Thank you.